we're back. Just get cozy and let's do it. Hey friends, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to Saint Stories. I am very excited about today's video because I feel like this guy and I are just a little bit of kindred spirits. <laughs> He's one of those saints where I feel like if we were to live at the same time, we would definitely be friends. At least I hope so. I think the chances of that are pretty high because Saint Philip Neri was a man of the people. From a very early age, despite lucrative opportunities to inherit the family business, Philip had an unshakable urge to devote his life wholeheartedly to Jesus and the church. So he left that behind and went off to Rome, as one does. There, he studied theology and philosophy for a couple of years before giving up all hope of being ordained a priest. <laughs> but despite any personal discouragement in his studies, etc., his commitment to the church and spreading the gospel was as strong as ever. He spent the next 13 years as a lay person who sought to evangelize the city of Rome. This came very naturally to him because of his good humor, warm personality, and heart for the Lord. People were drawn to him. He would talk to people on street corners, in hospitals, bring people to church, and simply gather people together for prayer groups, for the enjoyment of music, for meals, etc. And his favorite go-to question after a night of spending time with his friends would be, well, brothers, when shall we begin to do good? His biographers described him as all things to all men. When he was called upon to be merry, he was so. If there was a demand upon his sympathy, he was equally ready. So you can understand why I'd like to be friends with him. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the best part of the story. When Philip Neary was 34 years old, despite his already highly effective ministry, his confessor was so confident that he would be more effective as a priest. So by the time he was around 36 years old, he was ordained a priest, despite letting that dream go all those years prior. He then became a trusted advisor to popes, kings, cardinals, you name it. He was equally as important to the poor and spent most of his time hearing confessions. And he carried out all of this work with a spirit of friendship and gentleness. Many years later, on the Feast of Corpus Christi in 1595, when he was about 80 years old, Philip received some bad news from the doctor and came to terms with the fact that it was probably his time to go and be with the Lord. And for the rest of that day, he carried on as normal, hearing confessions, receiving people, continuing his ministry. And later that night, passed away in his sleep after suffering a hemorrhage. I think the biggest thing we can take away from the story of St. Philip Neri is just how human sanctity can be. He lived a truly Catholic life, always at the service of others and frequently accompanied by a good laugh. He wasn't just a man of the people, he was a man for the people, he was a man for the church. And through his life, he shows us just how much grace can be found in surrendering when plans don't look like what we thought they would or or we don't perform how we would have liked or a door is closed and we don't know what to do next. St. Philip not only shows us just how effective it is to surrender those feelings to the Lord and continue on with joy and confidence. You and I both know he could have abandoned his thought of being a priest all those years prior and continued serving the church through his ministry as a lay person. But because of his openness to discernment, more than 10 years later, he allowed the Lord to continue his mission, to expand his mission through the generosity and openness of St. Philip Neri's heart. And you and I can live the same way, with the same freedom and the same joy, when we just do this life with the Lord. When we invite people in, when we live in community, when we live this universal call to holiness, we become effective evangelists, passionate Catholics, and all around a good time. <laughs> Philip Neri is a perfect example of that. So let's live with joy and freedom in total surrender to the Lord. St. Philip Neri, patron saint of humor and joy, pray for us. See you next time, bye.